Hello, gorgeous! It's me, Foxy. I'm so happy to see you here. And today, I'm gonna do a full face of AliExpress makeup. Mm, kinda nervous. Pray for me. Okay, jokes aside, lately I've been hearing lots of good reviews on Chinese makeup products. And I don't talk about fake products, I don't talk about uh, replicas on some popular brands that you can buy on AliExpress, obviously. No, we don't talk about it here, we don't do that. Because we don't want to apply unknown things in our faces, you know? Mm, that can be dangerous for you and for your skin. So, we don't do that. So please don't do that. I bought this and I'm taking the risk for you. This set is from the brand... I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong because I don't know how to read it. Yuli Yula, if it says something to you. So. Basically, it's a 10-piece set and it contains BB cream, concealer, highlighter, eyebrow pencil, mushroom puff, powder, eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara, and lipstick. And since there is no product for skin prep, what a shame, actually, it's so important. I'll go grab something from my skin prep drawer and do it behind the camera, so see you in two seconds. I'm back. I just finished my skin prep. It always includes skincare products and also makeup primer. Today we used MAC Strobing Primer. As you can see, it gives this inner glow to my face. And let's move to the next step because I'm really excited to try this Chinese makeup. So, how to open it? Oh, yeah. I'm stupid. This is pretty. Just look at this. Isn't it pretty? Huh? The quality. It kinda can be better because I see the plasticky thing here. I don't like it, but the design itself is really nice. So yeah, let's move to the interesting part. First step after the primer will be BB cream. It's not a BB cream. It is? What is it? It's BB cream. Yeah. Cushion BB cream. This is what it looks like. How do you work? Do I need to take it off? Oh, yeah. I suppose they want me to apply this BB cream with this mushroom sponge <laughs> I think I'll do the left side of my face with my regular beauty blender as I usually do and the right side of my face with this uh, mushroom sponge um, anyway oh my god it's so light Oh, it's too light for me now, I think. Yeah, maybe this is my winter shade, but now I'm a bit tanned. Um, as much as ginger can be tanned, you know, but anyway. Pretty light, okay. We will fix it, maybe. <laughs> maybe not. Let's see. Okay, this is one coat. Left side I will do with this beautiful little lemon beauty blender. I really love it. It's so soft. It, it, it blends really well. It's a bit more cakey on the mushroom side and a little more blended and alive on my left side, this side. I don't know, you cannot convince me that this thing works better than Beauty Blender or brush. No. Now it's concealer's turn. Let's try this baby out. Oh my god, it's so cute. Just look, just look how small it is. If it's good, I really hope so. I will just take it with me like everywhere. It will be my go-to concealer because it's just so small. You can put it in any bag. I have a little life hack for you all here. If you want your concealer to stay all day without any creasing, listen to me. Listen. 
I have this beautiful thing here Urban Decay All Nighter but it's vitamin C I have a normal one, a matte one and the vitamin C one I didn't see any difference between the regular one and this one it works the same for me but smells a bit nicer I love it so what I want to show you just take the little you will need the mini beauty blender because you need something that you can freely use on your under eye area and only under eye area so not like on your whole face but just under your eyes shake 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 first spritz will be in the air we just spritz it all over the beauty blender and fix the concealer with it this works wonders it's so watery this is the first thing i noticed this is pretty pretty watery so lightweight huh if it covers something and doesn't go away when i will blend it because some of the watery products do that i hate it uh, but yeah if it doesn't do that if it works good on the skin i will be pretty happy with it yeah yeah i like it ah. um, you know what it feels like it doesn't feel like normal concealer it feels like those popular under eye brighteners like this one from the rare beauty it does have more coverage than this rare beauty one next step is a highlighter um let me find it it's highlighter and blush i don't know let's see together this is what it looks like um is it a highlighter or am i tripping i don't know this one i think it's a highlighter not micro shimmer sparkly like inner glow but it's actual glitter yeah it's it's cream glitter ha huh, it does it does look good what what oh my god i love it actually i didn't think that i will love all of those makeup products today i'm pretty happily shocked okay do you see this shine? Huh? I suppose this is the blush. I didn't see anything about the blush in this list, but okay. Hmm. I think I had to apply blush first and then highlighter, but okay. It's not that I love this blush as much as I like the highlighter. Not obsessed, but it's not bad the highlighter again yes love it we have the loose powder here in this set oil control concealer setting powder we have the puff here take off before usage yes <gasps> no you know yeah they said it's loose powder it actually is i will set the right side with their puff and the left side with my puff pretty matte yeah if you still don't have those triangle puffs i truly recommend you to get one because they will change your life they work amazing now this powder is pretty blurring from what i noticed it's more blurring on this side when i apply it with my puff than on the right side maybe because it's too big for those areas and the triangle shape works really well for that purpose but the round one is just too big and it applies excessive product so from this side they don't want me to do any contouring or bronzing but i will do i will do it i will add Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer it's basically contour product 
but it's warm toned and I use it for bronzing. Add some here too. And here, of course, because it's too light. Yeah, it's better. Let's shape the eyebrows. I guess it will be kind of funny because I'm a natural redhead and fellow gingers know what I mean. It's kind of hard to find a product in this world that will uh, match your hair color. But anyway, let's give it a try. So, this is what the eyebrow pencil looks like this is exactly what i expected i mean they're dark next step is eye makeup eyeshadows and to be honest this is my favorite part because eyes can change the whole look and i love it i have this little palette from this set and also i ordered this little baby palette from the brand lake Sina. I picked the version with basic everyday brownish colors. The picture it was looking like a more of a cool undertone brown, almost grayish. Second palette, the little one. Both of the colors here are not matte, they're shimmery. The pigmentation is okay. It's not super pigmented, but it's it's fine. Uh, I forgot to add about the eyebrow pencil. It's so waxy. So if you don't like this formula, don't buy it. It's just too waxy. Not so hard to blend. I mean, not hard at all but the pigment is not so good i would not recommend it now finally the eyeliner's turn and you know i'm pretty excited and nervous at the same time because i really hope it's a good eyeliner because when it's bad formulated it can ruin the whole look you know i mean you know i did it you know what makes you feel super girly yeah mascara we have a few options today, first one from this big set, and it's not as simple as you think. It's pants! So basically, this is lengthening position, and this is a curling one. It's two-in-one, but sometimes we all need it. Like a cheap coffee. And two other options. If you didn't know, uh, this viral TikTok iron mascaras, they are Chinese brand and actually they officially sell it on AliExpress too. They both have metal ones and from what I saw in the reviews, people really are so obsessed with them. They say those mascaras can give you those amazing long lashes look without any effort. I think today I will try those metal ones because I really want to try them so bad. And this two-in-one mascara I will show you in one of my next TikTok videos. It's called Judy Doll Iron Mascara in a shade 02 Brown. Uh, they are both in this shade because I wanted to try their brown color. Okay, what are the difference between these two girlies? So this is the one that you probably have seen on the TikTok. Uh, it's straight thick metal wand. Kind of the same, but it's a little bit angled and it's thinner. Here are two of them for you to see the difference. I think I will try the classic one, the TikTok viral one on the left eye and the thin angle one on the right eye. Let's give it a try. Curler from Tweezerman. This is truly amazing. It's specially designed for almond shaped eyes. No other lash curler does this job as good as this one. Hmm. Oh. I see it. I will only apply it on my outer corner because I kind of want to make this cat eye look so I will not apply the mascara on my lower lashes and on my inner corners I love it huh. I 
I think they work kind of similar but I will use the first one more I see why it went viral they both work really good finally the last step it's lipstick again I have a few options I have this lipstick from the actual set from this big set it's a classic red it looks beautifully but that's not all I have this box with this beautiful bag but it's not a bag and there are four lipsticks it's just a pink case for lipsticks so you cannot actually use it as a bag but nice pretty little thing and there are four lipsticks let's swatch them all and pick one the red classic one from the big set and the pink case lipsticks i think it's just a lip balm slightly tinted lip balm i would love to try this one we don't have any lip liner today so uh, it's kind of challenging for me today because i have the lip ring so i will apply it in the center first like this <sighs> the upper lip is done but the hard part is waiting for me it's like i cut it in half and what i do now because now it looks kind of weird i will just apply the lipstick with a brush with my tongue i move the ring to the opposite side of where i will draw it right now and the center now I will fix the contour of the lower lip and yeah, it's done I really hope you enjoyed this video and it was interesting for you so yeah, have a nice one see you in the next video with love, your Foxy Mwah.